Hello, my name is Marcus, and uh, we will present this work. Uh, I'm sorry for not being present today, and I will apologize alre myself already for my awful English, but I, I think we can make it through. So let's start. The, the time is short, okay? So uh, this work is entitled uh, Development of uh, Miller Matrix of optical coherence tomography system. For those who doesn't know the, the OCT, uh, OCT is a technique based on interferometry, so you can use it to, to get uh, tomographic images of delicate, delicate um, kind of samples, like eye or skin. So, and it have a ge very good resolution, something like uh, seven micron. It's non-invasive, is uh, painless and quick and everything. Okay, it's ever spread it very fast in the in the diagnostic air area. So, well, let's go to to, to the, the presentation. Okay. Um, here I have my light source, my detector, my mirror that I will call this sample mirror. This one is my reference mirror, beam splitter, okay? So if I have a monochromatic laser, like this one represents like a HEMI laser, so the coherence length of this kind of laser is something like uh, 300 meters. So this means that if I have a difference uh, of uh, optical path between the, these two arms of something like 300 meter, I will still have the, this interference pattern in my detector. Okay, but now if I change this this light source for something that have a, a spectral distribution, like uh, I will say fi uh, 50, nan 50 nanometers, and then my coherence length decrease from 300 meters to something like 7 microns. So this is very interesting because now I can get um, some, some, some info about each layer of my sample. If I have a skin uh, sample and I want to see uh, the first surface of my, uh, the, the scattering of my su first surface I will just tune my my reference arm to have the same optical optical path that 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 my sample has my s first surface has, and then I will get a, a signal that 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 is proportional to this back scattering. And then, if I want to see inside my mirror my my sample, I will just move. Uh, a little bit, a little bit farther, my my reference mirror, and then I will get scattering information about something uh, about the layer that is inside my sample. Okay, this is OCT, and this is a, a typical image of the OCT. Okay, uh, here is the uh, palm hand, and so you can see very clearly here the structures of my of my hand. Okay, so let's continue. Now we will talk about polarization, okay? And then we will mix everything together uh, ahead. So Stokes vectors, what is them? That, uh, what is that? Stokes vectors is a, is a object that can represent polarization uh, state, the light polarization state, okay? So the first one is my total intensity. The second one is vertical and horizontal intensity. The second one is the 45 degrees and minus 45 degrees. And the third one is right-rended and left-rended polarization, okay? So for example, if I want to uh, represent a vertically polarized light, I have this kind of Stokes, ve Stokes vector. And Miller matrix, Miller matrix. Miller matrices are the objects that transform my Stokes vectors. So, uh, 
uh, this is an example of a linear uh, horizontally placed polarizator. And so, like ABCD matrices, uh, I can co compose these elements like this. Okay, so this is my incoming light, this is my optical element, and then I have my output light. So, because of the nature of this, uh, element of this element, we nothing will happen to my incident light, and so on. Okay, mot motivation. Uh, I, I have showed you the, like the the ordinary OCT images, okay, the scattering image, but we can get more info about about a, a sample I, if we put if we put uh, some extra uh, optical elements in the setup so I can get my my image of the uh, Miller matrix and this is very nice because I don't have only the scattering uh, behavior but I have how this uh, how the sample is changing my polarization state of the light okay so just to, to to clarify this, okay, the first element of my Miller matrix is the f uh, value of this first pixel, the second one is the value of this. So I have uh, thousands of, of Miller matrix inside this image. Okay, the, the goal of the, this work was to develop uh, MMOCT and then to try to decompose my M my Miller matrix in other matrix that I have uh, have a, a knowledge already. Okay, so how to measure this in practice? Okay, this is the definition: how to measure the Stokes vectors. Okay, where I is my intensity and H is my horizontal, V is vertically, and so on. So if I measure the intensity of my light, my incoming light, with a horizontally placed uh, polarizer, then I sum this with my intensity with my vertically polariza polarized light, and so on, polari polarizer, and so on. Then, using these relations, I can decrease my number of measurements from 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to only 4, okay? Because I can write uh, two of them as a combination of the of other others other two, okay? And the Miller matrices, okay? Remember this relation. And the most important here is I will, I will assume that I know the incoming light. So this is the light that the light that I am putting into my my setup. Okay, but one of these one each time. Okay, and then if I substitute the, this this over here and I make this measurement using thi this kind of. Uh, um, system over here then uh, I get my Miller matrix okay this is described uh, very well in the literature so I will pass this test also uh, 